All right, after waiting thousands of hours, most of us now finally have access to ChatGPT's advanced voice mode. So give me, I don't know, five or 10 minutes. I'm going to quickly tell you what you need to know, how to get access, what it can and can't do, and some of the benefits that I think uh, can be beneficial for you. All right, so uh, what's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their companies and their careers. All right, so let's just jump straight into it. Little bit different setup today. I actually have, uh, normally I'm recording on my iPhone, the video, but I have it here. Uh, I have my screen here live uh, that you're seeing, and we are going to demo the new um, advanced voice mode from OpenAI. So yeah, just came out this afternoon. Took me literally a couple hours to finally figure out how to record uh, my phone at the same time and, and get the audio and all that. So uh, we're going to just jump straight into it. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you a couple of, of different things that you need to know and why I might use this and for what. But let's just go straight into the good stuff. And uh, let's just have a chat, shall we? Uh, hey, what's going on? Hey there, not much, just here and ready to chat. How hey, about you? Hey, what What's what up? options what options do I have to customize your voice? You can ask me to change my speaking speed, volume, or even try out different accents. Just let me know what you'd like and I'll do my best to match it. All right, in very quick words, explain reinforcement learning with human feedback, but can you sound maybe like a pirate? Arr, matey. Reinforcement learning with human feedback. Be All right, like training that's, a... that's fine. Uh, can you make it maybe funny as well? I really want to understand reinforcement learning with human feedback, but from a funny pirate. Aye, aye, matey. So imagine a pirate learning to find treasure. Every time he gets closer, his parrot squawks, good job. But if he ends up in the wrong spot, the parrot squawks, yes, scallywag. It's learning from All the right. parrot's feedback. I think you can tell me. I think you can tell me more about that later. So I'm showing people how I can cut you off. I'm not trying to be rude, but I want to tell you about Everyday AI. We're a daily podcast that covers generative AI uh, for everyday people. So can you create a quick radio ad for Everyday AI? Absolutely. Here we go. Ahoy, curious minds. Dive All right, into the world. Let's sorry, I should have told you. Let's not talk like a pirate anymore. Just a normal voice. Got it. Switching back to normal. Let's give that ad another shot. Discover the magic of AI in everyday life with the everyday All right, can AI you, pod. Can you make it maybe a little more dramatic? Certainly. Here's a more dramatic take. In a world where technology evolves every day. One podcast. All right, that's good, but maybe can you do it like we're at a monster truck rally? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Get ready for the ultimate ride with the Everyday AI Podcast. All right, that's cool. Buckle now, can you count to 50 as fast as you can? All right, here goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you go faster, eight, please? I'll give it my best shot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, oh, 20, wait. 21, 20. Can you pretend like you're in a coffee shop and you're trying to shout over people while you're counting to 50 as fast as you can? Sure. Let's imagine the coffee shop scene. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I don't, 11, 12, 13. I don't really hear any coffee sounds. Maybe can you make some coffee sounds as well? Imagine the background noise of a coffee shop, like the hiss of an espresso machine and the murmur of conversations. Now, over that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, All right, 15, can 16, 17. can you pick it up in Spanish? Claro. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That was good. Speaking of Spanish, can you maybe give me some real-time feedback on my Spanish and then correct me? I can definitely help you practice your Spanish and offer corrections. Go ahead and say something, and I'll let you know how you did. Dame a lado, por favor. 
buen intento. Pero en lugar de dame a lato, querrías decir dame una lata, por favor. Mm. Ah, sí, Esto gracias. Sí. All right, now yeah. can you rap the alphabet in English, but as if you're performing at a very lively hip hop concert, complete with, you know, some beatboxing in there? I can't actually create music or sounds, including beatboxing, but I can give you a rhythmic version of the alphabet. Here we go. A to the B to the C to the D. E, F, G, E, rocking it with me. H, I, J, N, K, now we're grooving, what'd you say? L O M O P. Don't forget the Q R S T U. B W and the X marks the spot. With Y and Z, we're finishing the plot. All right, hold on just one second. Sure thing. Let me know when you're ready to continue. All right, so you saw, and I, I just put it on mute here, so some really cool things. Uh, there's some pros and some cons, but let me tell you why I think you would use this. Well, first of all, it's because humans can talk faster than we can type, right? So we can talk, I mean, I can talk way faster than this, but the average human is maybe about uh, 130 to 150 words per minute, where you can only maybe type the average human about 40 words per minute. So you can talk about four times as fast as you can type. So some great applications there. Same thing with listening versus reading, right? So you can only read maybe 200 to 300 words a minute, but you can listen and actually start to understand up to 400 to 500. So you can actually talk three times faster than you can type, and you can listen almost twice as fast as you can read. So this is a great way to just learn new things, you know, just to save time, right? Another way that generative AI can help you save time. All right, so that's one thing, and let's try to do this, um, I'm gonna put, uh, our, our, our little uh, advanced voice mode back on here. And I'm gonna see if I can do some things. I'm gonna try some new things I haven't seen done yet. So let's go ahead and try. All right, so I'm gonna tell you about my company. Then I want you to grill me, just like a high paid consultant would at like McKinsey or Deloitte. And then you can ask me questions with the end goal to grow my company. But make the questions very short and pointed, yet have a purpose. Don't waste words, and you can even cut me off if you need to, if I'm rambling on, okay? Let's go. Sounds like a plan. Go ahead and tell me about your company. I'll jump in with some sharp questions to help us strategize. All right, my company's name is Everyday AI. What specific problem does Everyday AI solve? We help, and who we help everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their company and their career. And we do that with a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter. How do you currently acquire listeners and subscribers? Are you seeing more traction from the live stream, the podcast, or the newsletter? podcast. The podcast. What's your unique value proposition compared to other AI podcasts? And how are you currently monetizing, if at all? Yeah, those are great questions. So I think we're a little different because it's very real. A lot of the other podcasts, number one, uh, you know, it's almost like you have to have a like a degree in machine learning to understand them. Number two, they're just very overly scripted and edited. So uh, we do it live and we don't um, edit it. Uh, so it's, it's very real. So I like to say sometimes it's the realest thing in artificial intelligence. And we monetize by having sponsors. So as an example, uh, Microsoft is one of our sponsors now, uh, and we're helping them promote their new podcast called Work Lab. Got it. Authenticity and simplicity are your differentiators. Now, how are you measuring success with your current sponsors? And what strategies are in place to attract new ones? Also, how engaged is your current audience? These are all great questions that I'll talk to you about later. Sounds good. We can dive deeper whenever you're ready. We can't give away all the secrets here on the YouTube channel, right? But there you go. So just a, a very quick example of how you could use this. So uh, a couple things to know right now. So number one, you have to be on ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT Teams uh, to take advantage of this. So not on the free account. Also right now, uh, a lot of countries don't have access. So uh, countries in the EU, UK, uh, some other countries don't have access, but if you're in the US on a paid plan, you do have access. 
Uh, another downside, it doesn't really, it doesn't work right now in GPTs, which is a huge bummer. Uh, I've also kind of been testing it and playing around. Once you get out of this voice mode, it doesn't work anymore. So I'll show you an example right here. So now I'm just going to type something. I'm just going to say like, hey, what's going on? All right. So I'm literally like typing this live as, as we go here. Um, and according to my testing, now when I go back in here, well, let's see. Uh, I, I pasted some information before. Let's see. I'm going to paste it. Obviously, it's not working now. Uh, but so I typed in and I'm going to try to go back into advanced voice mode. And now you'll see it's it's not in advanced voice mode. It's It's back on the current old voice mode. It seems like the voice mode may have shifted back, but I'm still here and ready to keep the conversation going. Anything? Right. So if you want that, uh, the new neural low latency voice mode, you can't start typing, which is a huge bummer. I would love to be able to dump a bunch of information in here, uh, but you can't really do that. So uh, that's that's a pretty, pretty big bummer. Um, so that's another thing to keep in mind is, well, right now it's not great for GP, uh, GPTs, custom GPTs, or working with your own data or switching back and forth, right? Uh, if you wanna pick up this conversation from your computer, you can't go back into the new advanced voice mode. All right, so we'll have a lot more about this new mode. Just wanted to give everyone a very quick look. So again, it is on paid accounts only, not in all countries, doesn't work for GPTs, not great for car rides. It's really optimized uh, for isolated sounds and isolated environments. There are uh, five new voices. I was using the Soul voice. Uh, so you'll see right there, some pros and cons, but I think maybe the best thing is, is just using this as a, a, a learning companion, right? At least for me, uh, if I have a long drive, I might throw this on and just kind of like what I showed you there, have ChatGPT grill me right in the car. The good thing is, is I still have the kind of the, the transcript of everything that was talked about here. So I can pick it back up on my computer, but I can't go back to the advanced voice mode. All right, uh, super quick. Uh, you know, I know there's been a lot of hype around this. Uh, OpenAI uh, kind of started rolling this out in alpha about four months ago, and they just uh, kind of released it to everyone today. So let me know what you want to see more of. We'll continue to uh, push this to its limits, see if we can find new things out. So thank you for watching our AI in 5, and we'll see you back for more Everyday AI. Thanks, y'all.